I've heard that you've been thinking about moving to Battleground, Washington. Today, I'm going to give you the four reasons why I think you should think of another place to move to and why you should avoid Battleground. Let's get into it. Hey, my name is Jesse Grover. I'm a licensed real estate agent here in Vancouver, Washington, and I help people in the surrounding Vancouver, Portland Metro buy, sell, relocate, invest, and upgrade, downgrade all over the place in this area. If you have any questions, please reach out. My information can be found in the description of this video. I would love to hear from you. Please like and subscribe to this channel and hit that bell notification because I'm coming out with videos like this every single week to help educate you on the right areas to buy and sell here in the greater Vancouver, Washington area. Today, we're going to talk about Battleground and the four reasons why I think you should avoid buying in Battleground. The first reason why I think you should avoid Battleground is it's really farm focused. There are tons of developments happening out there. They are slowly encroaching into the Battleground space. There are older subdivisions around the area, but a lot of the land and a lot of the acreage and the plots of houses on acreage around are a lot more agricultural and farm based. Now, this is nothing negative about that. If you want chickens, you want goats, you want horses, that is amazing and I will help you get there. But for the majority of people that I have helped, it is kind of um, more of a turnoff about Battleground being more agricultural focused than than more city or more town or more people focused as other areas in Vancouver are. And with that, the second reason is because Battleground is actually kind of far away. It's on the north, far north side of Vancouver, um, kind of in the middle of Clark County, but really on the northern side of Clark County. And it's kind of this odd landlocked uh, little uh, town, this city. Uh, because they don't have the easiest access to the highway system as uh, I-5 kind of passes by. There is a road leading from I-5 in there. And then you also have uh, Highway 503, which really isn't a highway. But that leads into Battleground into, and Main Street into the main intersection. But it is just far. So if you're going to be moving out to Battleground and you need to commute into Portland or you need to commute into Vancouver or wherever, it's really going to add a lot more traffic and a lot longer commute. They have a lot of their own resources and stores and systems and entertainment in Battleground. It is lacking and the expansions that's happening is more in the subdivisions and pushing into Battleground. And they have got a lot more stores, restaurants, and entertainment coming in. But it's a lot of the strip mall stuff. So it's a lot of the, the big box stores and the, and the bigger restaurants and the chains coming in. Um, rather than more representation of local eateries and local restaurants and things like that. So if that's really what you're looking for and you want more local cuisine or uh, just a little bit better food... It's, it's not going to be necessarily what is in and what's coming into Battleground right now. Battleground is just getting a lot of those chains and a lot of other stuff like that. And that leads me into my, my third con and my third negative point about Battleground is just the limited amount of entertainment. There's just not many bars, there's not many restaurants, there's not many things to do in Battleground. And if that's what you're wanting, you're going to have to go elsewhere. You're definitely going to have to go to Vancouver or Portland and you're going to have, that's just going to be a long commute to get to those areas. And it's just going to create a longer night when you want to do those things. Now, Battleground can be an amazing place. These are just my opinions on the things why I think you should avoid Battleground and maybe look elsewhere. Battleground definitely is growing and they're expanding and more people are moving in but at the same time 
uh, there's more growth happening in other areas of Clark County. And depending on what you value, it might be best to look elsewhere and avoid Battleground. Thank you for watching this video. If you if this gave you any insight into Battleground and the surrounding area, please uh, like this video. It really helps me out a lot. If you have any questions about buying or selling in this area or outside this area, please reach out. All my information is down in the description of this video, and I will see you in the next one.